Um, we did not get to play our dice game yesterday, did we? We ran out of time. So would y'all like to play our game and talk about the book a little bit more? Okay. Okay. If you were the main character, so if you were Amos, what's one thing that you would have done differently? Um, Think about all the things he's done. What's something you would have done differently? Anywhere in the whole book. Mm -hmm. um, if I was him, I, I probably wouldn't have picked up that gun. He wouldn't have ever picked up that gun. When, when he and Simon were playing, that would have been a smart thing to do. We've probably been told that by mm -hmm. adults, yes. right? Don't play with them, okay? Because you never know. Um, man, that would have changed the story in so many ways, wouldn't it? Okay, good. Can you make a text-to-self connection to the story? This is like we do in Mylene. What's a way that you can relate to uh, the story? I can relate to Jonathan because one time... I was in Disney World, mm -hmm. and me and my sister, we walked into this ride, and my parents said we could do it alone. And then once we got off, we couldn't find them. Oh, so kind of like Jonathan getting separated from Amos and Clara when so they we, swam so to shore. Right there and they found us. Yeah. Well, that was lucky. Same thing happened there, right? They went to sleep on the riverbank, and luckily, Amos and Clara found them. Okay. What do you think is going to happen next? What's your prediction? Um, they're going to like keep going and make it to Marietta, and then maybe they'll take the Indian boy back to his tribe. Okay, so you think they'll drop him off, get to Marietta. What do you think they'll find when they get to Marietta? Do you think Dad will be there? Maybe they yeah. <laughs> like, I think um, their father will be there. Okay, so you think he's going to be there, he survived the attack, and they'll all be reunited? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fabulous. Anybody else have a prediction they'd like to share? I think the, like some Indians are going to come try to attack when the Indian boy's going to save them. Okay. And then they're going to make it to me. Okay. Good. I was going to say that maybe something will be with them, but I, at the very beginning of the story, I remember that. Yeah, we wish. In a perfect world. Mm -hmm. Girls? Um, I think that in the next chapter that they're going to start walking to Marietta and take the Indian boy with them. Okay. So you think they'll keep him? Um, I think they're going to get to Marietta and bring the Indian boy with them. But um, I don't think um, their dad will be there at that moment. Okay. But do you think dad survived and will rejoin them? Or do you I, think they're um, going to be on their own? 100 Okay, just wait and see, huh? Okay, tell us what you consider to be the three most important parts of the story so far. That is a hard one, actually. The three most important parts. I know, but just narrow it down to three. There are, there are more than three. Amos finding the Indian boy that did separate from her father. And maybe... Their starvation is young. Okay, so them being separated from dads definitely important because that's what the story's about, right? Him saving the Indian boy and them struggling with finding food. I have been in that situation with one day. Have you? It it's no day. fun, is it? <laughs> At least it was only one day. Tell us what you think are three of the most important parts of the story so far. Um, when the attack happened. Okay. Um, when they uh, are on the boat and it starts to get on fire and they jump out. Yeah, the okay, perfect. And when uh, Amos finds the Indian boy in the water. Wonderful, good. Anybody have any other important parts to add? Oh, um, um, for the last one, what was it? What do you think would happen next? For number three? The last question was, yeah, they were making a uh, prediction. Um, Her question was, "What are three of the most important yeah, parts of the um, story?" I feel like he's gonna, like, I think he's gonna get there, but like, but like most books have a happy ending. So, like, I kind of agree with Sarah. Like, I don't think he's, he's gonna be there at that moment. Mm -hmm. I think he but you think he'll there. show up at some point? Okay. Not. What okay. surprised you most about the book so far? What's the biggest surprise or shock to you, or what was your favorite part? <laughs> Uh, probably when he just gave him back the knife. When he gave him back the knife? 
Why did you like that part? Because most people wouldn't do that if he was just threatening some. Would you do that? Do you think you would have given it back to him? Okay. Because you would have been afraid to, right? I think that's probably how most of us would react. So yeah, I can see why that would definitely surprise you. Surprise you. Okay, number five. Um, what has surprised you most about the book so far? What was the biggest surprise to you? Um, when the, when the, <clears throat> or maybe a favorite part, if you can't think of a surprise. But when the Indians attacked? When the Indians attacked at Willingtown? That was a pretty big surprise. Um, what do you think the odds are that Dad made it out of there? Not too good. Not too good. Okay. Do you have something you want to share? Yeah. Um, not like surprise. I didn't. I didn't think that he would have. Um, Amos would have given the knife back to the Indian. Yeah, that was a big surprise to me too. Okay, I mean, he's finally got this knife away from the Indian who had threatened them, and then he gives it back. And we're going to talk about that in a little while when we get to the plot line because that was very interesting for sure.